good evening and hello on a rather odd stream I know this is not normally the day for it and uh, frankly that's okay uh, I want to get some stuff done you see there's a whole lot of grinding before you get your way to beating the uh, different forms of weapon and then finally taking down Sephiroth himself and uh, in order to do that grinding I need to make sure that I've got all of the important materia in the game because well half the point of grinding is leveling up that materia so uh, in tonight's rather strange stream on a night that I don't usually stream we're going to be uh, visiting some new locations gathering the finest possible tools and then stopping and I'll do the grinding off screen because it's boring to watch but before I get to any of that I'm gonna get to this this is Great Lakes Brewing Company's Dortmunder Gold Lager and uh, I've talked about it before on the stream but I'm going to go ahead and actually drink it on the stream because this is a beer worth your attention a lager you say worth your attention yes yes it is it's called Dortmunder Gold for a reason and that reason is that it has won gold medals around the clock. I meant to say around the country. I don't know what the hell... Well, they probably won them around the clock, too. Different times of day. Who knows? But my point is uh, that this thing has won a ton of different uh, awards for being a logger above reproach. So let's go ahead and have a sniff. Yep. Doesn't smell like a logger. Smells... Almost like an ale. It's got some roasty toasty notes in there, but this one has some almost vanilla y kind of scents to it. You can smell some different constituent materials from the uh, the wheat and the barley and the hops all blended together carefully. And uh, and the end result is a lager worth sipping. This right here has several stages that it goes through. When you take a sip, and usually I don't do this on the first sip, I take a second sip. Swish it around in there. Get, it, get some aeration in there. Get the flavor out. You will find that you've got wheaty, grassy notes coupled with uh, toasted hop notes there is a characteristic i don't know whether i'm losing my mind or or whether i'm i'm just picking this up and it's, it's actually in there um but there is a sort of uh vanilla -y flavor almost like a well i tried a hefeweizen in the other day i i'm thinking maybe it was a kolsch that i tried once that had kind of a vanilla flavor to it but this absolutely is giving me little little hints of that um the main thing is this isn't this isn't christmas beer this is summer beer. This is it's hot outside. You want something wet and cold that's going to rehydrate you. And frankly, it's a bit warm in here, even though I've got both air conditioners running on opposite sides of the apartment. It's warmer than I'd like, which is what got me to my friend Dortmunder. Uh, this thing really just just it it slakes your thirst. It it sates the palate. It's more complex and more rich and more distinct than any other lager I've ever tried. Uh, it has a hint of bitterness. It has a hint of sweetness. Um, texturally, it's like drinking water. It's not thick. It's not hazy. It's none of the other things. Um, but it speaks for itself. I, I really do think this is a, a genuinely... There's a reason that it's won a bunch of awards. I think this is a really good one. Uh, so... If you want to give lager another try, and I, you know, maybe some of you actually really enjoyed your lagers. I am a snob, and I'll own it. Uh, I, I tend to prefer uh, ales and um, and stouts and uh, weird things, Abbey ales, and and you know, I, I like to get into my weird like, give me all of these different wacky flavors in there. Um, I, I like a weird beer. I don't know what to tell you. 
so lager tends to be a little bit dull to me, uh, but not this guy. Um, every time you take a sip, you'll get a little something new. I go, oh, oh, yeah, what's that? What's that? How'd that get in there? Mm, you won't be disappointed. So if you, if you want to give lager another shot, um, go sit out by the pool in one of those crappy folding chairs. Not one of the good chaise lounges. No, this, I need a, a crappy aluminum and plastic folding chair with a cloth base from 1975. Get your shorts on. The shorts that you're not comfortable in because you hate the way that your legs look because you spend all your time indoors and you're so white and pale and pasty. And uh, no shirt. Put on one of those fisherman's hats. Have a couple of fishing lures in there. And then take a few sips of this and see if you don't feel right at home. <laughs> is, is this the kind of beer criticism you came here looking for? I don't know. Uh, but it's what you got. It's what you got. Let's, uh, let's get to the gaming, shall we? Which is really my forte. And, uh, oh, I want to make absolutely certain of something. I want to make sure that my my audio is going to come through here. This is very important. Let's get the gaming up. It's not. I'm not hearing the audio. And that troubles me. Leastwise, I'm not. You are, but I'm not. Uh, let me adjust something really quickly here. PS4 audio. Set it to monitor off. And then I'm going to say monitor on output. And there it is. Now I can hear it again. Uh, that's my screw up. I was uh, I was dicking around on my on my TV here earlier, just listening to music, and um, uh, and and watching shows and stuff. And I forgot to set the audio back to to the computer, so that's my bad. But anyway, we are ready to play. If if you didn't believe me when I said it's hot in here, do you see? Look up above me. Do you see how, how hazy Eggs' tank looks? That's that's condensation on the outside of the tank. It's it's literally like the water is cold enough in her tank that the the air the, the water in the air out here is sticking to the tank. It's um it's a lot warmer in here than I would than I would like. Uh hey I can't move without encountering weapon. That is an eventuality for which I was not prepared. Uh, let's... Uh, gentlemen, surface! Okay, good. Uh, that was a, an amicable solution to that there problem. That was almost a very bad time. I, I am not prepared at all to fight weapon. Not ready to handle that shit at all. Say hi to Dagri and hop on the high wind. And we need to go south. East. Southeast. Does that work for me? There's a. Over this a ways, there's a cave someplace. And I. Uh, ah, there it is. Okay. We need to get in that there cave. So let's send Dogger to it. Okay. One of the most important materia in the game. Not the most, but one of the most. Over the course of many years, Mako energy crystallizes into materia. Quadramagic. Uh, Quadramagic can be paired with a whole fuckload of uh, uh, different uh, materia. So, if you go into your uh, materia selection here, I'm gonna want to power this thing up like fast, because I'm I'm gonna want to like there quadra magic. I need to I need to level that, but the the ultimate idea would be to put it into a paired combination with something like uh, I don't know Bahamut Zero. Uh, usually, quadra magic is meant to work with uh, uh, magic. Or summon spells. The only one that you can't use Quadra Magic on is Knight's of Round. 
but since Bahamut Zero is uh, theoretically the second strongest materia in the game, uh, you could pair it with uh, with with Quadra Magic and, and launch you know basically a four attack. So that's theoretically four times nine 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 nine, uh, just wailing on your enemy there. So that that can be a a, a good a vicious combo uh, that you can use to your advantage. Um, but I'm I'm actually going to equip it to a weapon that has. Uh, fast materia growth because I really want uh, I want that spell to be powerful. Is is buntline double growth? I keep forgetting this. Buntline, are you double? You're double? Holy shit! And you have paired power. Oh well, that's it. That's it then. Counterattack, revive, all, and restore. I mean, all and restore will do just fine on their own. I want quad, quad blah, 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 blah. I want quadra magic and I want Oh boy, what what awful things could I get up to here? Uh, if you combine it with mime, you can mime the last ability that somebody used. So if somebody used uh, uh W summon before you, like let's say I use W summon with um, Bahamut Zero. That will make it so that I summon Bahamut Zero twice. Then the next person uses Mime with Quadra Magic. They'll copy the move right before them, meaning that they'll literally go, Oh, hey, the last thing you used was uh, uh, Bahamut Zero. I'm going to do that four times in a row. Because um, you're, quadru- you're quadding the Mime. So I, I was looking all this stuff up on, online last night. It's bonkers. You can, do some, you can do some wild shit with this ability. Um... So that's what I'm going to do, is you are now the proud possessor of Bahamut Zero. And there. Now you have sneak attack and what? Sneak attack and enemy skill. Sneak attack and restore. Would that use restore on the enemy? I don't know. That makes me wonder. This makes me curious. You see, uh, we'll put it on gravity because that's a that's a pretty solid uh, ability for you to have. Nice star comment. No, ha, aha, 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 aha. Uh, sneak attack and comet. That's a fun combo. Let's do it. Sneak attack and Ultima. Well, hell, we can have half our fights over with immediately in one shot. How hilarious would that be? Uh, I submit that it would be very, very funny. I like that idea. Uh, but I'm not going to, because uh, we've already got the comet close to leveling, so that's fine. Let's let's move on with our lives, shall we? Uh, so we've done that. Then, uh, unstupefied, hey, how you doing? Welcome to the chat. I see you found out I have an emote wall up, so you know that if, uh, if you put up the, the emotes, they'll be flying all over my screen. What brings you to the stream? I am Narkloft, and this is my very big chair and my very big mug. Cheers to you. So from here we want to go to the Hidden Grove. Uh, it's it's called like the the forest of the ancients or the something like that. I don't know. It's it's the thing in my <laughs> yes it is. I do. That's my very big beard as well. Um. <laughs> where are you from, man? Where is where did oh my god! I just decided to like walk halfway across the planet without getting back into uh, my uh, uh, high wind there. My bad. Where are you from, Unstupefied? I got uh, I got viewers from uh, the UK, uh, Eastern Europe, not so Eastern Europe, um, Asia. I got there's people people pop in from all over the place. Florida. My sister lives in Florida. That's one wacky-ass state you live in there. I'm not going to lie to you. 
Things get weird in Florida, man. Is it like super hot and humid down there right now? Because it's uh it's sweltering right here, and I'm I'm in Syracuse, New York. Ah, uh, well, I'm Syracuse, New York, uh, not New York, New York, but yes. We have our share of wackiness right here. I wasn't trying to give you a hard time or nothing, it's like, you know. But uh, but yeah, absolutely. There's there's some jank over here in in New York for sure. Hot and humid, yeah. It's it's boiling up here, and that's um. It's not my favorite. It's not my favorite thing. Uh, I got the AC running, trying to keep it together. You know what I mean. But man, uh, I'll tell you what, uh, I would love to go down and visit my sister uh, right about now, uh, stay in Florida and visit some uh, uh, beaches and stuff, uh, maybe uh, say hi to some, some sea turtles, and sh there's this place not too far from where she lives where the sea turtles come up on the beach to lay their eggs, I think that'd be a cool thing to watch, go see some manatees at, um, what is it, uh, uh, it's like cold springs florida something like that where it's like it, it's a really cool water that runs up into the into the center of the state and the manatees come from the ocean to hang out in the in the cool water hmm. i've been down to i've been down to florida a couple of times you know we've done the family disney trips and stuff like that over the years um but uh i've i haven't like spent any actual time outside of the theme park. A lot of cold springs all over. Okay, I'm trying to think of the name of this actual place, but it's a place. It is a place where there's like, you can get like 40, 50 manatees just like floating around in there. Uh, my mom and my sister went one time. It seemed really neat. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna equip one of you with. Anybody got spare slots? Uh, Counter. Yeah, I want the counter on. Luck plus. Eh, we'll worry about that later. You know what I really want is enemy away. Because I want to fight. Well, no, I need to. Yeah, there's going to be. Yeah, there it is. There's the enemy away. We've only been around three at once. And mom and calf that were more local. Uh, well, that's cool. One of my, uh, one of my sisters actually has. This was like for a birthday. My brother got her. A certificate where she's like sponsoring um she's sp sponsoring one of the manatees at this place and its name is gator and i thought that was cool uh the reason its name is gator is because it actually has like a bite mark on its tail from where a gator bit it but it got away so the uh the manatee is tough enough to handle a gator You've been up to New York before? Am I are Oh, that's right. You're a bunch of dodgy bastards. Now I remember. This whole area sucks because I can never hit any of you. No. <laughs> Dodging me, you son of a... Yeah, I've heard about the boat props. I've ne just never seen one that survived a gator before. That boat prop thing, is that's just, just freaking sad, man. You're in Cali from Florida? I See, I've never been to California, so you've been further, further than I have. But I wear my northeasternliness on my sleeve, friend. I was uh, born just outside of uh, Boston, Massachusetts, and um, uh, it shows. Alright, we got that. Oh, oh boy. Alright. Let's go 
Stage one, spring gun clip. What? Let's, let's find out what the hell that is. Spring gun clip. It's an item. So, chair cost only 1300 right? Oh, <laughs> no, I got a crazy deal on this thing at a local antique shop. But, yeah, if you tried to buy a, a porter's chair like this, uh, brand new, uh, leather upholstered, you'd be looking at two grand. Um, this thing came from uh, the Hotel Syracuse, and uh, it's, it's a little worse for the wear. There's a few, you don't see it on the stream, but there's a few little, like, there's a hole in the leather, there's a scrape on the wood on one place. Like, it's not in perfect condition. Um, but I guess the, the lady bought, like, the whole bunch. Like, when the hotel shut down, she bought all of the chairs. And, uh, this was, like, the last one in the shop. And she was like, I'm just, at this point, I'm done. I just want them gone. It was like, I've been selling these things for years. Um, so she cut me a break on it. Uh, there's this really, really great antique shop here in Syracuse that, like, if you talk to the people at the desk, they'll, they'll phone up the vendor and see if they can haggle with them a little bit. So I, I got a majorly good deal on this thing. All told, I think I spent about 400 bucks. It was an absolute steal. So I, I don't want to project the image that I'm like a wealthy dude. I am not rolling in cash, uh, but I am rolling in uh, uh, fiscal sense and uh, 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 financial... Uh, 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 caution. Uh, I don't know. That's all I got going for me. Spr what the? F where is this thing? All right. Do I have to arrange you alphabetically? Spring. We'll, do it. we'll go through one at a time. Spring what? Better off just looking you up online. What the hell? Spring gun clip. Oh, it, it's a weapon for Red 13? That I would not have figured. Yeah, but I can't I can't stand those people who, like, get on their YouTube channel and flex. And are like, oh, yeah, dude, I spent so much money on this thing. Like, no, I, I, I don't have any. I work in retail. <laughs> uh, stay. Damn it. Okay. See where we're at. Hello, I'm modding a total of three streams at once. Night guy. What's going on? I'm gonna do a little something here. A little something for the view. Oh boy. Oh boy. We got a we got a new viewer here. This is unstupefied. Go ahead and toss out that uh, Discord there for you if you're interested in joining. Uh, feel free to give us a follow. This is not my usual stream day. Everyone has gone live tonight? Yeah, well, I told you. I just... What I wanted to do was... Um, I, I wanted to get on and uh, uh, do these th these quests. Because i got a hell of a lot of grinding to do that's not going to be fun for streaming. So I'm just going to do that on my own time. You know what I mean? Um, and, and, but I, I want you guys to see all the stuff, so, uh, so here we are. What? Do I go in the cave? Can, oh, I see. Oh, I see. All right, let's hop down here. Can I? No. Oh, God. I think I've trapped myself. Well, that's not what I wanted. Oh, for, for mm, bugger! I could have sworn I brought a bug up there. I, I really thought I brought a bug up there. I'm quite bummed about that. I know there's birds everywhere. It's all gone to shit, guys. What the hell? 
Vincent, what are you even equipped with? Vincent's got barrier on him. Alright, let's get moving along a little quicker. So how's your modding for, man? I don't know how you do this. Where you, I can't focus like that. Bird kick, yes. Some of the attack names in this are fantastic. There was one that was called, like, Berserk Peck. And I was like, that I, sounds offensive. Like, it, it, that doesn't sound like an appropriate term. Did you ever see the movie Willow? They refer to all small people as Peck. And so that's where I get that, why I, I feel like that sounds not good. One, two, three. Yeah, bitches. I have a GeoGuessr and an ASMR stream, two other tabs. I, I don't even know what GeoGuessr is. What is the ASMR stream? Are they just like, are they just whispering into your ear? They shelling peanuts in your ear like this. They're just rubbing their beard on the mic like this. I know you like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Sorry, I got I got I got a little um uh, frisky there for a second. Does what does that do for you? Like watching an ASMR stream? Does that does that make you feel feel good in, inside? I. I just don't know about, um, I don't know about that. Uh, it's a woman, so I'd be worried if she was rubbing a beard on me. I would be too. Well, I, you know what? No. 2021 hashtag women can have beards too. Like, let's rock and roll. This is... Just relaxing to have a very quiet stream at the odd occasion. Yeah, but when you have me shouting like an idiot at the same time, does that does that not dull the effect to some extent? Are you are you are you muting me most of the time, Nigh Guy? Is that what you're telling me? These are the most evasive plants I've ever seen in my life. The leafy vine. Learn to focus on this on one sound at a time. I can't. I don't have that power. Like when the store soundtrack is on and I'm trying to talk to a customer. I, I'm literally having to focus on both. It's terrible. One might go so far as to call it excruciating. If one were possessed of a, a flamboyant nature. Grab us a frog, just in case. You never know. You never know. You think you know. You don't. You don't know. Take this plant. Jump. Alright. I absolutely, positively have a bug with me. Now give me this frog. Now stay on this thing until the frog jumps. You ready? Oh, well, that sucked. <laughs> that was bullshit. For the low, low price of modding three streams at once, you can get that power. I guess, maybe. I don't know. I, I remain unconvinced. How do I get this thing to close on something that isn't me? Can I... Can you bite the frog, please? My health has to be suffering for that. I don't know how to get past these things, and I hate it.
Can you not swing over that vine thing? Oh, well, yeah, I can. I'm going to go this way, this way, and this way. But the problem is that I want that materia that's right there. See the, the little yellow dot there? That is very definitely a materia. And we are living in a materia world. And I am a materia girl. So I need to get that. And I'm not positive how to make it happen. Stop this. This is unconscionable. You cannot do this. There has to be a way to jump onto that thing. Is there a way to climb up here? Yes, there is. Okay. All right. We're getting somewhere. Oh my god, we're both... We're all so hurt. Oh man, I think I lost Unstupefied. I was having fun chatting with them. I'm glad you appreciated the Madonna reference. Just drank flat Diet Coke. That doesn't sound great. It sounds like a not great time. Yeah, well, I, okay, so we're we're in agreement then. That's a bad time right there. Guys, can we get organized here? Alright, that's it. I'm going to use Comet 2 on the both of you. That's how much I hate you all. Alright, well now I'm going to use Comet 2 on one of you. You'll get missed by the vast majority of them. Which was some of that stuff you had last night? Oh my god. That, uh, that beer that I had last night, or that barley wine I had, was absolutely phenomenal. It was worthy of celebration and praise. I see what we're doing here. We're going to go this way. And then wait for it. I know exactly what needs to be done. I remember now. This thing boops me up onto there. I grab this. Drop down here. This thing loves that shit. I grab this. Slash all materia. And then I run like hell. Ready? Now we go and do it the other way. Those things love beehives. I had forgotten about that. Give me that frog. Alright. Now I need... to hop up here. And I know that for a moment... It's going to look like I'm doing the same thing, but I'm not. That's where the surprise comes in. Are you ready? Are you ready for the surprise? So we set that thing here. <laughs> My body is ready. Don't make it sound so deeply suspect. Cloud is just, he's done. He's had it with this shit. I've got Cloud's, like, final limit break technique, and it's beautiful. Have you seen it yet, my guy? Alright, get ready. Oh boy. Alright, well that was another way to do the thing that I thought. I was going to feed the, the Venus flytrap that thing. That was my plan. How do I get to that item? 
I know you can get up into the treetop, so we'll we'll figure it out. I need a frog. There we go. That and this. Feed the bug to this one. Well, you're about to see it again. Fantastic. Now most people, most people would jump onto that tentacle there. I'm not going to do that. And that's why I got nothing. Alright, I'm up in the tree. Are you happy with me now? Put it on here. Minerva Band. Minerva Band is useful for female characters. Nullifies fire, cold, gravity, and holy. Fantastic. That'll go to uh, Tifa, not Yuffie. Yuffie's useless. Well, in point of fact, she's not useless at all, but I don't like her. Uh, Minerva is absolutely the goddess of something. I just forget what that something is. Wisdom, maybe? Poise and beauty and grace? Let's try going up this time. I've been attacked. Now, how am I on the ground here? I was in trees moments ago. Yuffie was caught surprised. Now she's casting Comet 2. Well, that'll be the end of this one. You guys aren't going to survive any of that shit. Oh, maybe you are. Okay, well that'll teach me. do that all the time, casually dropping comments on people. They banned me from public events due to it. Uh, you know what? Um, I have to say, if, if I had the power to drop comments on people, it would be very, very difficult to resist using that power. There's, there's something tantalizing about the notion of specifically dropping comments on people. There's another thing that I, I, like a crazy idea I have in my head, um, that I, I kind of love the idea of, um, and, and basically it goes a little something like this, uh, when somebody does something on the road that I think is utter bullshit, and I'm, 
another motor vehicle operator on said road, um, I have the ability to point and go, and then something happens to their car, which is of a non-life-threatening nature. Like the engine just sputters out or something. I, I, I don't want this person to die. I want this person removed from the remote from the road and I want the moment that they were removed from the road directly neurologically connected to the moment that they did something dickish on the road. That's my favorite idea that I have. At least about the road. Plenty of other ideas outside of that. Leave the house like, you get a comet dropped on you, and you get a comet dropped on you. You get a comet dropped on you. Everyone gets on a comet dropped on you. Power to cause minor or major inconveniences. What a power that would... Yes. I like the idea of causing a... A fairly substantial inconvenience. Like a reasonably powerful inconvenience. One that might present the illusion that it were life-threatening, and yet isn't. You know what I mean? Hop on you, hop on you, hop on you, and on over here. <laughs> Typhon. Materia. Well, let's find out what Typhon does, shall we? It's probably short for Typhoon. That's my guess. Squam bum 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 bum. Squeaky ding ding ding. Squonka dunka dunka. Wonka ding a dangle. Jumble bumble wumble. Alright, it looks like this is a dead end. Unless. Nope, that's it. Nothing else here. Wonkle swonkle dungle, dingle dangle dungle. Yeah, I see, there's a way down here. Way on down. Let me get that off my screen, thank you. Okay, so I could jump down here. And I think I will. No, do you not do you not let me jump down th okay, I have to jump down here then? Well, that's just great. What am I doing? Should at least go into the last cave. But I think I'm about done with this garden place. So I've got the cut all materia. I've got the typhon materia. I wonder if you can pair the cut all materia with the counter attack materia. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Get on there. Ah, oh, shit. I guess I'm going all the way back to the beginning because of my short-sightedness. How deeply unfortunate. Scumble dunk. I do love the idea of making their wheels fall off. That seems like a good one. But the the key would be that it, it, it under absolutely no circumstances can this this horrible thing that I'm going to do to another person possibly endanger other people on the road. Those other people have done nothing wrong. And they deserve no retribution from me. See what Typhon does. Disintegration. That sounds pretty horrific. Uh, 
Oh god, he's awful. Oh god, he's even more awful than previously I expected. He flips the world upside down? What the hell? He's worse than Sheogoreth. He's a mad god. And apparently he didn't do any damage to them. I just used a summon materia that ate up all of Yuffie's magic for absolutely nothing. Dodgy bastards. He was a jammy bastard. I'll freeze ya. That's what I'll do. Sure am having trouble fighting these plants. Oh my god, we finally hit you and you still didn't die? Just fucking die! Thank... God. Mind-boggling. Need a twofer. And... You do it. A threefer. Good. Let's hop across here. Good. Move into the phase two. A momentary consideration. I thought to myself, hmm, might be able to get over there. And then I was like, no, you don't, you no, you don't need to do that at all. You can just fucking go. Good. Alright. So you avoid... You will now face the wrath of, 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 of Alexander, who is theoretically very good. Very, very, very good. Oh, when they said great, they meant fucking huge? That's right. He's massive. He's got a city growing on his back. He is a city. It's also one of the shortest, sweetest materials there is. 
Like one of the shortest, sweetest, high level materials there is, is that Alexander material. It's fantastic. Please throw me up on that thing. Please, please, please throw me up on that thing. You bastard. Fine. I see now that there is only one course I may take. I understand that. I, I suppose I accept it, even. I dislike it. It angers me. It disappoints me. But I accept it. And I'm ready to move on. Not the birds. Oh god, not the bees. My eyes! Ultima was born. Oh, yeah! I got two of them. I don't think it's any better than that. Alright, you got Ultima at max level. Not anymore, you don't. Now you got regular level Ultima. How's it feel? How does it taste mo uh, let's see. MP Turbo, that'll come in handy at some point. Yeah, no, this is all... It's all coming together. What the hell? Can I go up here? What is this, some kind of tube? Get over here. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 Over here. I don't want to go over there. I'm go over this way. I'm gonna go over that way. Bogonia. Oh, you prick. How do I do it then? How do I get across? Can I feed you the beehive? Now, how do I get across? Then how do I get a goddamn frog over there? Are you... Okay. 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 Alright. It's all coming together. I think I understand it now. Because there's two... There's two things. There's... There's a fly... There's two flies over there. So if I change one of them into a fly, then I grab the other fly. This is gonna work. Okay, so... There's two flies. You drop one of the flies near the hole where you hear the frog croak. That makes the frog come out. It eats the fly. You get a frog instead of a fly, right? You put the frog into the pitcher plant and stand on top of the pitcher plant. It just bounces you to the other side. No good. No good. But. Shit. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know where any of this is going. Another restore was born. Good. That just restores up the wazoo. Who's got a who's got a restore that's good to go? That's a max restore. Okay. 
Guess who now has a close to max restore, but definitely not a max restore. And that would be you, Cloud. What do you have? A barrier? A magic. Why do you have magic plus? Is. Alright, we're gonna fix this right now. Get that all and. That all, this restore. Good. That Quadra Magic, this Bahamut Zero. There's the revive, there's the counterattack. All and barrier. Okay. Back. One of the streams just raided down to two. Oh, okay. Nice. You. That MP Turbo is close to popping, which is good. We've got one more star to go. Double cut, very close. Pretty soon we'll have it be at four times cut, and that'll be fantastic. I'll be thrilled about that. All right, I I'm confused. I need a frog and a pitcher plant. I like a, I've got a little riddle going here. And it is, frankly, frustrating the shit out of me. Um, begonia, 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 begonia. Shoo! I'm gonna get to a point eventually where I'm just gonna look it up. Because there's there's only so much of this crap I can put up with. The main thing is that there is a weapon in here that gives Cloud three times the experience. I, I need that weapon to be in my arsenal. Yep, just looking it up. Did you really... Oh, you didn't have enough magic to summon Comet, did you? Okay, well, then I guess I know what I'm doing for you. Turbo Ether on Yuffie, please. Thank you. Final Fantasy VII Forest of the Ancients. I'm going to walk through. Third screen. Fourth screen. Grab one of the insects on the right side of the screen and throw it into the flower furthest to the right in the screen. Jump onto the flower and press back on the directional pad to have Cloud jump up to the next flower and then up to the next red flower. Wait, what? Yeah, that's... Oh, this is the fifth... Fourth screen. There we go. Now grab the insect and place it in the blue flower... Into the blue flower to the right. So you can jump across, but grab the frog... Take it as you jump over. Place the frog into the blue flower furthest to the right. No. And on the end section, place it in the blue flower just to the left of the red flower that threw the beehive that you threw the beehive into. Grab another insect and place it in front of the opening in the tree to make a frog appear. Now grab the other insect and place it into the blue flower to the right. 
so you can jump across. But grab the frog and take it back as you jump over. Oh, Jesus Christ. So this is like a, a whole fucking thing. Insects on the right side of the screen and throw it into the flower furthest to the right in this screen. Jump onto the flower and press back on the directional button. I'll go jump up to the next flower and then up onto the red platform with the beehive. Yeah. Grab the beehive and toss it into the flower. Pick up another insect and place it in the blue flower just to the left of the red flower that you threw the beehive into. Grab another insect and place it in front of the opening of the tree frog up here. Now grab the other insect and place it into the blue flower to the right so you can jump across. The frog and take it with you as you jump over. Place the frog into the blue flower furthest to the right and then jump onto the blue flower. Wait for the frog to burst out launched over to the other side of the screen. Okay, it's convoluted, it's excessive, but it's a functional plan. So let's freeze some plant life, shall we? I don't think we need ice, too. Hey, Lynn, how you doing? I'm sorry, I was literally reading a thing when you popped in. I did not realize that you were here. Uh, I just got back from work and reading a pretty tasty kebab. Excellent. Excellent. Glad to hear it. I'm, uh, there's a, like a, sort of a, a creature puzzle here. Like, uh, you feed this bug to that bug and you make that thing happen to this thing and it's, it's just awesome. So... Uh, here I am, living my best life, feeding bugs to other bugs. It's, it's awesome. Alright, bug to this pitcher plant. Other bug to the next pitcher plant. Then hop up, take the tongue. Yo, 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 yo. Good. Moving up here. And this is all going to be within a fairly brief timetable, so I'm, I'm going to be fairly engaged at this point. So, hop down here. Got it. Feed bug to pitcher plant. Hop up here. No, no. Hop up here. Grab beehive. Hop down here. Feed beehive to this shithead. Give this to this. Go over here. Grab other bug. Feed to frog. Get frog. Good. Okay. Feed to this pitcher plant. Wait a second. Laura, hey, how you doing? 15 minute break at work and I'm eating some pretty tasty peanut butter M&M's. Wow. Everybody's got good treats. Grab the frog. Get attacked by another thing. Feeding chocolate is my favorite. Thankfully for me, that uh, that beehive actually holds up for a while inside of this flower, this killer flower. So it, I like, I don't think he's gonna spit it out anytime soon. Uh, and then I feed the frog to this pitcher plant, and then stand on the pitcher plant until it is time to be launched out. Because when the frog flies out of the pitcher plant, it hurls you a ways. It's good to have you all in here. Wow, I, this is the most people I've had on the stream in a while. I feel like uh, Final Fantasy VII's been 
a bit of a stream killer, uh, but it's an old favorite of mine, and I wanted to play through it. And those are the facts, guys. So I'm, I was going to play through it. Yafia was caught by surprise. So she started launching small meteorites at everybody. And they were not particularly effective. In fact, I'd go so far as to say they were an utter waste of magic and time. So the whole reason you come in here into this cave is for... Dun, 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 dun. Apocalypse. A weapon for Cloud that gives him three uh, uh, training slots, uh, unlike the Rune Blade, which has four at double growth. But Apocalypse is at triple growth, and it's a hell of a lot stronger. So that's what I'm putting on. Double cut, uh, W summon, and what was the other one that you had, Cloud? Explain yourself, young man. Knights of the Round. Okay, so double cut, MP turbo, and... Oh, W Summon is essential. Essential, I say. I wish I could stick around. When will you be streaming your weapon battles? Uh, you know what? I'll be honest with you. I'm I'm basically getting the stuff that I need to grind. And then I will grind for a very long time. And then I will have a, a stream that says, like, uh, weapons training or something like that. And it'll, it'll be like an actual, you know, you know what I'm talking about. It'll be, it'll be cool. Ugh. What's this? Elixir! Elixir! Wow! And... Hey look everybody, it's Dogri! 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 He is the shiniest, most sun-filled boy that you'll ever get a chance to ride. He's Dogri! But just wants to feed the fish. All right, well, hang on a second. Hang on a tick. Uh, oh, boy. Boop, 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 boop. We're going to say hi to okay. Oh. It's all foggy in here. We're gonna feed that fish. We're gonna feed that fish. You can see those food pellets dropping down. Feed that fish. Exit tank is a little bit murky right now, I think. But it's been so hot in here that it's, I think it got a little fogged up. So it's kind of gross. I'm gonna leave you guys to look at eggs for a second. I gotta go use the, uh, the restroom, but I'll be right back.
buddy. Well, you wouldn't believe who came to say hi. Hello. Hello there. Hey, buddy. Eggs is pretty adorable. But Cedar is also pretty adorable. What do you think, Cedar? Are you a good boy? Are you a handsome boy? Yeah, you are. You're the good looking man. What do you think? You see the stuff moving on that screen? That's you up there. Yeah, that's you. What do you think? That's a good kitty. Do you want to hop down? Okay, there you go. <laughs> All right. Well, we got kind of a double visit there. We got to visit with eggs, and we got to visit with cedar. I'll just go ahead and hop back over here. And, uh... Full cloud. Full pilot. Uh, cloud. <laughs> what do you want to do? Go on. <laughs> oh, he might be back. You never know. He's funny like that. Um, okay, so we got the Quadra Magic. We got the W Summon. We could go to Golden Saucer to do the special tournament. And I think that's precisely what I'll do. So I'll go over here. Oh boy. I'll go over here and I'll equip Cloud with. Ultima weapon and give him a double cut W summon Knights of the Round uh, where's Quadra Magic? Who is that? Quadra Magic. I'll give him Quadra Magic. I'll give him Bahamut Zero. I'll give him the other counter attack materia. And we'll give him the cut all or slash all materia. There we go. This is going to be... He's going to be really, really difficult to beat in this state. Is what I'm hoping for. Let's use a tent. Save the game. Aw, oh, you have to go back to work. Well, have a good night, Laura. I hope you have... Uh, you know, I hope it's a tolerable shift. Uh, Night Guy says, what, uh, what materia don't I have? Um, there is... Um, let's see here. Wow, that feeling of being able to lie down after a long work day. Yeah, I love that too. I oftentimes, when I get home, instead of sitting down, I'll, I'll go lie down in bed. And Indigo's like, uh, is it okay if I'm out here for a while? And I'm like, yeah, you're good. <laughs> I love that Cedar is just sitting under the tripod that holds up Eggs' camera. So, we're going to go to Battle Square. And supposedly, with all of this sweet equipment on, the girl behind the counter is going to be like, Wow, you must be some crazy ass kind of fighter with all of that gear on and stuff and then I and then I say to her like give me the special fights you know I've been thinking about it for a while now but you must be pretty strong probably strong enough to take on the top one or two fighters maybe you'll be good enough for the big match how about it there's a private battle only for the strongest want to try let's do it you can fight up to eight battles. Okay, here we go. 
Let's see what the worst they've got is. They start with a sandworm, which is pretty dicey. Okay, slash all apparently overrides double cut. That kind of bums me out. I guess I should probably do my setup spells, huh? Like, um, where I cast haste on myself. Then I cast regen. And then we finish this son of a bitch off. Huh? <laughs> I knew it was only gonna take three. Let's do this. Don't. All right, you can half my HP. That's fine. Yeah, this thing can't touch me. You know it. I know it. We all know it. Hey, big boy. Every time you hit me, I hit you back twice. That's my rule. All right, break the armor. I don't care. You know what? Don't you hit me with that creepy touch bullshit. I hate it when you touch me. It grosses me out. Poison Fang can't do a damn thing to me, and you know it. See, this thing has a horrible counter, and it's called, uh, called um, Creepy Touch. And all it does is go, <laughs> and it makes your character sad. See you later. Lucky seven. No handicap. Hey there, Sky Serpent. You know and I know Viper Breath doesn't hurt me. Don't break the what? God damn it. Hey, you. Big boy. How's being all big and having a giant sword? Oh, okay. Don't you do it. You're gonna eat it. Oh, you fuck. Well, that is, um, that is a, a rough situation right there. Let me uh, make uh, one or two minor adjustments here. First of all, this uh, this uh, slash all. See ya. Um, maybe we'll get. Uh, so maybe we could throw him a, a, a barrier up there. It might be fun. Plant creature getting lit. All right. Well, I'll bite. Uh, I don't know if you clipped that correctly. It's just me going, I hate it when you touch me. It grosses me out. Uh, and uh, and then I hit him, but it doesn't, like, kill him or anything. I don't know if that was your plan. I feel like that clip didn't come out the way that you wanted it to. sucks. I hate when crap like that happens. Alright, now that I'm sped up. And I've got a wall on me. Twitch is always weird. It really does some very strange things. See you later, Spider-Man. Spider-Man. Oh, dude, you had to break the goddamn accessory, didn't you? That's like the crooks of my whole fucking build. Just having that ribbon on me. 
big pollen now now big pollen might actually do something to me i don't know yeah but it put me to sleep i'm asleep fantastic all right so this battle is just oh, okay you're gonna whip me see how that plays out for you you prick i'm frozen did you really freeze me You giant asshole. Alright, well, I guess this is okay. This thing can't actually hurt me. Oh god, yes it can. Now that I'm not immune to everything, it can absolutely hurt me. If it lands one of those poison fangs, this is gonna suck. Just hit after hit after hit. And the hits, as they say, don't stop coming. How you doing there, big fella? I believe Viper Breath still doesn't do shit. I'm right. One, two. Oh, a tough boy. Okay. Now all I gotta do is hit before this big guy does. Hup. What does that do? Hit him! Hit him, Endo! Your big guard doesn't scare me. Don't turn me into a goddamn toad. You assholes. Looking for something called Maiden's Kiss. Maiden's Kiss. Maiden's Kiss. Maiden's Kiss. There it is. It's an ability I never use. Don't you fucking do it. Let me cast the spell. There we go. Now it's on like fucking Donkey Kong, you big piece of shit. You want some? You want a little? Huh? Do you? I didn't think you did. Poison. Whatever, I can handle poison. It's fine. It's like this big cockatrice looking motherfucker out. See, this is a lot harder, isn't it? And there's got to be one left. And here he is. And here he goes. He can't survive this. This will one-shot most enemies in the game. And by that I mean 13 shot, because this is 13 discrete attacks. I, I figure he can't, he can't make it through Knights of the Round, right? He certainly can't make it through W Summon Knights of the Round, which does it fucking twice. He's not going to walk away from that. Oh, 
Although there may be an error in my calculations because I'm pretty sure that Knights of Round costs 250 and my max MP is 488, so I don't think I can actually do it twice. But you get the idea. The premise is strong, and he's fucking dead. You're dead, right? Yeah, you are. No, you're not? Alright, fine, let's do it again. Oh god, my summon power's used up. <laughs> oh no! Unless he dies from this counterattack, that counterattack, or the attack I'm about to do on him. Come on! Ah, you bastard! He lived through a whole night's of the round treatment. Jesus H. What more do I need? Well, I didn't use Ultima once. So, the Magic Plus, Magic Plus 20%. That sucked. I gotta get this thing because if I, I I have to I have to beat I have to win. I gotta do it. Because I need the thing that's the prize for this battle. So, sandworms be damned. That's right, you hit me with hands with sandstorm. And then you get hit back. Cut my magic points in half. Cut my life into pizza. I'll try. <laughs> Don't break the item. You fucks! I hate when you break the accessory. I need that to keep from getting poisoned. Oh, slap? Now you pissed me off. <clears throat> Poison Fang doesn't... No, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to be that foolish. Good, yeah, hit me with bolt 2 again. You know it doesn't hurt me. And then I get to counter. And then you die. Cool. Now you've shrunken me. I need the cornucopia. It's called a cornucopia. Alright. And now I'm big. You shrank me, but now I'm big again. Let's do this. You want some? I know, I'm not even attacking him because I'm not using my limit break on him. He can't hurt me, and every time he hits me, I counter automatically. So you're fucking done. I'm not wasting this limit break on you. This limit break goes to somebody substantially more powerful than you are, sir. Cast regen on myself. Get ready for the next fight. Yep. So 
than I thought. Okay, cut my magic points in half again. Fine. See, you like Terra Flare. You like getting lit up by a dragon? How about one from outer space? It's funny that that guy's most powerful attack is just bitch slapping me. When he actually hits me with his sword, it doesn't do that much. But when he fucking boom, just punts me across the field, I feel that one. You want to get lit up by an outer space dragon? Well, apparently you've got something in common with this guy. <laughs> That's right, I'm going to do it to you again. This is W summon. This is what it does. Is It just does the same thing twice in a row. You're like, oh, I'm sorry. One hit from a space dragon didn't kill you? Well, that's all right. I got two. <laughs> like, keep them coming. Cloud just uses glare to stop steel hitting him. Yeah, seriously. He's just got those eyebrows turned down to the ground. <laughs> just stare back up at you. And that'll do it for you. Okay, so who's the next mighty fighter? We're not that far in. Support materia is broken. It's this guy. You need to go down fast. Not wasting any time with you because you can actually hit like a brick shit house. Surprise! Yeah, fucked. Okay. Don't. Okay, good. Zero MP, that's fine. I was going to use a turbo ether anyway. What do you got for me? Bolt hits, that's what you got. This is gonna suck. Mm, all of them. All of the materia are broken. I've got incalculable health. But this thing was a boss that took three of us to beat. And it wasn't even that long ago. And my counterattacks are broken because my materia is broken. Glad these creatures don't exist in real life. Imagine going camping and seeing a bull bird thing with fists and wings next to your campsite. Yeah, I think that'd be a bit much. Personally. Oh, you don't even know what's about to happen to you, you fucking idiot. You just hit me with a gun that pissed me off so badly that I'm ready to set you alight. With the fear, sheer friction of my blade piercing your flesh. Well, in this case, metal, because you're clearly a machine. But you get the point. What I'm saying is you're going to get a heat rash from just Blade Storm here.
Now die. This is it. I'm going to win this one. Knee blend. Yeah, you don't have it in you. You can try. 840. That's all you got. Materia jammer. Yeah? I don't have any materia. You can't touch me. be the biggest fuck you from nature ever basically oh what are you doing what are you doing aiming your giant back cannon at me I don't like that I'm gonna take a potion in anticipation or you could just die if you wanted to you could you could just die Beam cannon. Come on, Cloud. You're tough enough. Oh, that was... That was nothing. That was nothing. Pretty evil quam combo of qualities. Yeah, when you've got, like, a bull bird fist beast, yeah, it's... It's basically... It, ju it exists purely to cause pain, as far as I can tell. Alright. Keep using that attack, you'll get somewhere. Do it, hit me. <laughs> you can't survive another one of these, you can't. I've killed you before, and you will not survive this. Now get in that ground. You're damn right. The battle is won. And I received the final attack materia. The final attack materia is super important. Because Sephiroth is going to kill me and my entire party. But the final attack materia, um, when fully charged, can uh, be used up to four times in a battle. Uh, what does it do? Well, when your entire party wipes, you do one last thing. And it's paired with whatever one last thing you select. Now there is a summon materia called Phoenix. Phoenix will automatically restore any I and all party members who are out cold to their full health. And then it casts a fire spell and damages your enemies. So if I get Phoenix leveled up, paired with final attack, basically I have five lives. The one I the first one I lose, the second one I lose, the third one I lose, the fourth one I lose, and then finally the fifth one, he would have that would be the one that actually kills me. So that material right there is going to make fighting Sephiroth a big old different animal. And I'm excited about that. There are more battles to be had in here. And, uh, and I could do stuff with them. I could go, uh, I could go in there and try to get more, uh, ribbons, for instance. And, um, I'm not going to. Uh, not on stream. I'll do that in my spare time when you guys don't have to watch because that's not very fun. Uh, but, what I will do on stream, because I want you guys to see it, is go to the final curtain. Uh, where I will be doing most of my grinding is at the northern cave. And in the northern cave, there is at least one more very important item to collect. Um... Uh,
So I am going to summon. First of all, let's go to Yuffie and let's unequip all of your materia and arrange it. Second of all, let's cure you of your sadness because I hate to leave a person like that. Let's go ahead and heal you up. Yeah. Yeah, they absolutely are. It's not a real creature, mind you. You're you're going through a door that looks like a Moogle. Uh, but it, it is not an actual Moogle that you're that you're climbing into. That would be well horrible. Damn it. Let's touch down here, and I gotta get um, my Yuffie gone, and I want Sid here. Sid, you are my new number one guy, because you already have a weapon. Not the javelin, mind, but the... Venus Gospel. Scimitar. Triple growth. There you go. Gold armlet. Eh, let's give it... Let's give him the bolt armlet. And instead of the power wrist, let's give him the... Oh, I don't know. Safety bit. Who's got the safety bit? I'll worry about it later. Magic and Spirit. You're not my... You're not the character that I'm making my wizard. That's not happening. So let's take that circlet back and we'll give you the... You can have the... the oh god. Uh, have the ice ring. It'll be fun. Uh, now let's get you some materia, shall we? What do I want? I want the Ultima. But that's not important right now. What I need more than anything else right now is to power up the combination that I just got. That I was just talking about. I need... Final Where is it? There it is. I need final attack and Phoenix. Those two are the ones that need to be leveled. Bolt armlet, I need something that has like a lot of slots on it, because I need you to be like a wizard bracelet. That that sounds awful. It sounds like fun, but it, from the look of it, it's it's not particularly effective, is what I'm saying. A diamond bangle. Yeah, well right now. You just have just two two bands? That sucks. Diamond Bangle, I need it. That's bullshit, but whatever. Uh, now I need... I need you to have an all materia on you. One of the ones that still needs leveling, preferably. There we go. I need you to have a restore. One of the ones that still needs leveling, preferably. I need the... Revive. That needs leveling. Right there. I need you to have... Another all materia. They're all masters, okay. And then I need you to have the actually. Slash all seems like it would be fun from you. 
But I'm not putting it on there. I'm putting the all and the. I need you to have like a like a ah, time. Is that a master time? Wow, I'm falling asleep. Have a good evening. I don't blame you. What I'm doing is very boring. But um, have <laughs> have a good night, Lynn. That'll be fun. Yeah, having multiple people who have Ultima. That'll be that'll be cool. Alright. And last lady. Then someone you powering up. Is it not? This has double double growth on it, so I want you to have the Slash all the steel and the MP turbo. Good. We are now outfitted for all out war. The time has come to enter the northmost cave. Going into the northern crater. Now there is a certain point here where there is no turning back. Eventually you you go down far enough and you can't come back up from this. It looks like it's right here. It isn't. You can only go down from here. But then once you get down, see that cave on the left? This leads to it. And you can climb back up from here. So, oh, oops, that was rather unproductive, wasn't it? You get the idea. So we climb down here and we get the last item that we need. What you doing, buddy? Level 4 death. That's a nasty spell you're tossing around. It kills Cloud immediately because his level is multipliable or divisible by level 4. That's a bad time right there. I don't want to fight one of those things with Cloud. Interior right there.
A tail whip. Yeah, with the kind of materia I have equipped, I'm ready for this. For these types of enemies. It's very good news. HP absorb materia. That's gonna be also. Oh my god, I'm still equipped like this? Oh god. Well, there's your problem. Uh, uh, oh boy. Um, I need you to be using Apocalypse. And I need you to be uh, Double Cut, Magic Plus, and W Summon. Not Magic Plus. That's not the most important one. What was the most important one? Knights of the Round. That needs to be leveled up. Okay. Good. Elixir. I think that HP absorb thing might be the one that I was here for. So I'm going to double check. And if it is, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Because I don't want to be here any longer than I absolutely have to. Oh boy. Oh boy. What the hell? What? Oh my god. Oh my god. If I hit the left controller stick, it triples the speed of the... Holy shit. It, that's going to let me power through summons so that I don't just have to sit there and watch stuff happen. Holy shit! That's going to completely change the nature of the game. For the for the grinding that I have to go through, that's going to make the grinding much more bearable. Oh my god, that's awesome news. That's such good news. I'm thrilled about that. Northern Cave items. Quests, enemies, story, locations, treasures. List. Um, bum, 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 bum. List of all the items that can be duplicated. Send it on the left, then down. Suggesting combination of valuable items guaranteed. Barrett vaccine, Tifa, Mistile, Red 13 Shield, Yuffie, Counter Command. Counter Elixir, Magic Source, Imperial Guard. Infinite Shield glitch. Interesting. Enemy skills. There are some enemy skills that I can get. But yeah, I think I was here largely for that. Spiral Descent. Winding Descent. W magic. Oh, right. I know what I want. I know what I came back here for. Okay. Alright, so yeah, I can do quite a bit of digging around in here. There might be a whole other stream just down here. Which is, is bonkers, I didn't realize. Why are we all on our limit? Sid still working on his most elementary level of... of like, I, I haven't even learned his limit break attacks yet. Hellmasker is dumb.
Ah, the splatter combo. Spinning, asleep, and poisoned. You could feasibly just leave him that way to die. But the splatter combo will wake him up. That's inevitable. climb up that. Guess I have to do some work to climb down. I just want to avoid those nasty gargoyle things. Don't use Omni Slash. Don't use Omni Slash. Don't use Omni Slash. Oh, man. I jumped a gun on that one. That was a bad idea. not. So I did all that in order to get the guard source. And then I have to kind of double back around. Could keep going. This doesn't kill you, we're all gonna get healed. <laughs> Piddling little bunt line firing away. Well done, Vincent. Well done. Double cut has leveled. Now it's quad cut. That's fantastic. Oh my. Holy shit. Just trying to find everything in here is kind of a, it's a little mazy.
This is amazing. This is the best thing they possibly could have added to the game. Is being able to, to zip through battles like that. I had absolutely no idea that that was even a feature they had put in. That's fantastic. Jump to what? Why would I jump in here? Alright, we'll go back in the hole, and we'll climb up the hole. One way or another, I'm harvesting all the goodies down here. That's just gonna happen. Oh god. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Um. Uh, Muggin. Um, everyone's grudge. Oh, my God. Uh, No, d not on him. Why would you do that? No, 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 no. This is the worst. Can we run? Can I run from him? This I'm I'm like tense as a rock right now. Fucking kill him. Kill him. Stop it. I don't even see who you're casting that on, but apparently he's immune to it. Fantastic. Sid is immune to everyone's grudge. Tonveries are absolutely the worst. Time! You give it time all along. Alright, we're gonna jump this way. Good. Got it. Cool. Go in there. I 
I'm confused as to how I'm supposed to get into that little hole there. That's... We'll quit picking on Vincent then. Bullshit. And then I get attacked again. It happens so often. I never get anywhere. Don't get anything done. If I had known that you could do that times three thing when I was doing all the racing, that would have been, it would have changed my life. What's this? Did I go down in here? What is this? Hey, there it is. Nice. Okay, it's a mega elixir. Awesome. Jawsome. That's a nightmare on one of these little fish things. Awesome. Okay. I gotta find somebody to get back all the way up to the top. Scissor attack. Well, oh! I see. Wee wee wee. Bring it back alive! Uh. And it really does. It resurrects Sid from the dead. That's fantastic. That combo is impeccable. Yes. Go and Do 
question now becomes, how do I get back up from here? Splits into two. We'll split into two groups. Which you gonna choose, Cloud? Well, that's the question. I'm gonna look at this thing real quick and find out what happens. Send an ally to the right. Send an ally to the left. First, then up. Send an ally left at first, then down. Man, I guess it doesn't matter which way Cloud goes. The player has two paths to choose from. They must not armor from Tifa. Tifa. The player has two paths to choose from: the right path and the left path. If taking the left path, the player will have another two paths to choose from: upper and lower left. If it is possible, it is possible to duplicate all of the items found on the paths. The player sends the party members. Uh, too, that Cloud won't go himself. It is possible to duplicate most of all the items, items that can be duplicated. If in any junction where the party splits, the player sends Yuffie alone anyway. Once the party gathers up at the bottom, she will not give the items she found to the player and will claim she found nothing. At this point, any character sent alongside Yuffie remind her, and she grudgingly gives up the items. But if Yuffie was sent alone, she will keep the items. Okay, so never send Yuffie alone. Alright, so send an ally to the right. Uh, I guess I'll go... Right. Uh, Alright, then I'll go... left then I'm going right alright then I'll go left and then Yuffie I'm going left. Then I'll head right. And I will go left. All right, I'm heading left. Now, don't any of you die on me. Got to get through to Sephiroth. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'll destroy that Sephiroth before anyone gets to him. It's all over now with this. Oh man, Materia Hunter Yuffie sounds like the last chapter of Materia Forever. All life on this path. Oh, uh, sorry. All life on this planet, indeed, the very life of this planet, is in our hands. Uh, that's I was exactly going for Alan Rickman, so I'm thrilled about that. Well, looks like this is our last big job. This will be the end of it.
What should I say? Which way did I say we were going? We're going to the right. Okay. Beach babes. Oh god, we don't have any materia or anything. This team is useless. Except for Cloud. I didn't realize that I was assigning myself a threesome of nonsense here. That was not part of the plan. Uh, you need to be equipped with... Let's see here. Added effect. Ice. I'll give you an Ultima. Also, what weapon are you equipped with? Because... It's a double Platinum Fist. Only Platinum Fist and Motor Drive have it, and that's... No. Nope. No. Ultima and... I love the idea of you using sneak attack for Ultima. So, yeah, that's fine. Um, you'll need level up um, Alexander for me. It'll be fun. Uh, then I want you to have uh, an all, which it looks like most of them are all and restore. Then an all and a barrier. And then I need you to have... Wow. Some of these revives are looking quite manky. Um Interesting. It unequipped the people that I sent off on that mission. I wasn't expecting that. equip you with whatever your double growth is. The black megaphone. The white megaphone. Which one's worse? The black one is. So we'll go with the white one. And then we'll equip you with uh, some things that I want doubled. Like Slash all and what 
Where's Quadra Magic? Quadra Magic and Bahamut Zero and When I do revive, I do a cut right to the enemy. No, that would be fucked up. Um, let's get your revive. We'll do... Uh, elemental and... Mine could be very useful. Mine could be very, very useful. Get that steel in there. Okay. I guess we're going to go down. Mistile. Elixir. That was odd. Speed source. Tetra elemental. What does that mean? Let me know if you see anything called tetra elemental. Let's find out. White cape protects against frog small. Let's protect against fire, cold, lightning, earth attacks. So basically any any of the main elements you won't take damage from. That's pretty good. <laughs> oh no, not the cold. I'm absolutely horrified. Oh, you're going to cast it on Tifa? You're going to fascinate Tifa? Tifa's already pretty fascinated with Cloud, I'm afraid. Swimsuit clad creatures just fan service. Uh, that's a fair question. Uh, I really don't know what they're, they're supposed to be. Are they supposed to be actual women? I think they're supposed to be witches, maybe? And they use the witch as, like, they use the bathing suit look as, like, their, that's their sexy form to lure you in. I like something about the image of, of uh, 
Kate Sith just being like, bang, and just hitting everybody in the area. That's fun. The kiss of death. That's all I need. Mega elixir. Okay. Sounds fun. These are bones of something. Uh, nope. I'm gonna go this way. All right. We're gonna go down that way. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Having some problems with the old control mechanisms here. Listen, bitch. I don't have time for you. Why don't you get fucked? Plum Hilarious. Okay, we're getting down towards the bottom here. What's this? Is this a way out? Speed source. Where the hell am I going to wind up now? That's a materia floating over there. Yeah, they're kind of, I guess you would say, yeah, they're kind of like sirens. Mug him, Kate. Couldn't steal anything. Damn. I couldn't steal anything, so I had to stab him in the eye. And it worked. Get it? I got an eye drop from him, and he was an eye. Magic counter. Good. Good, good, good. We are getting places. Vaccine. No. Turbo ether. Oh, shit. We need Ultima. We need haste. We need slash all. to get ready to fight. Yeah, Sephiroth is a, is a major colossal pain in the ass.
Good lord. You see how difficult that was just to try to get him resurrected? I don't want to just fight Sephiroth. I want to fight all of the weapons. Like, uh, Emerald Weapon and Ruby Weapon and whatever the hell is the one that's at the bottom of the sea. I want to fight them all. They say that fighting the weapons is actually harder than killing uh, Sephiroth, is what I'm told. That those are like optional extras if you want to get some really cool stuff. Um, and that if you can kill them, like if you can beat them, then you'll be able to beat Sephiroth. So my plan is keep fighting until I'm strong enough to take down a Titan. And then come down here and rip up Seth uh, Sephiroth. Before I continue, I want to go with, where is the point of no return? Final Descent. Vertical Fort, Rocky Fort, Lake Crossing, and Lake Path. Core, Upper, Genova, Stra Final Descent. The Final Descent comprises of two scenes. Battles occur when jumping to a new platform. There are five jumps on the first screen and eight jumps on the second screen. No, 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 no. This is it twice in the game, blah, 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 blah. Cave opening. First descent, upper descent. The player must enter the water to get through the area. Down descent, right descent. Spine, final descent. Cloud and his allies gather here before the final battle against Sephiroth. Moving beyond this point is the point of no return. Okay. So there is one final gathering where we're all standing over a pit. And I can't go... I can't go down there, or I, I will not be able to come back. That's that's what leads to the final battle. He's not that strong. Just kill him. Tear out his eye, I say. this. Hey, T-Bag, how you doing? They surprised Tifa. So, 
Here's what you get when you surprise Tifa. You get killed, that's what happens when you surprise Tifa. Uh, if I knew why that horse had Super Saiyan hair, I would tell you. But I don't, so I can't. So I won't. But yeah, I don't want you to feel like that's anything personal. Oh my dear god, I had to swim through that? What is that that I'm swimming through? It seems terrible. This place looks filthy, guys. Looks like it was some sort of nest or something. Oh, they surprised Tifa. They shouldn't have done that. Oh god, these are magic pots. You mug the magic pots. Magic Pot says, Gimme Elixir. They like elixirs. So, what do we do now? I gave you elixirs. Now I can hurt you? Uh, no, it is not my intention to fight Sephiroth uh, this day. It is my intention to harvest all of the goodies down here in the, uh, in the caves and, uh, and then use those goodies um, a lot while just, just grinding. Just crazy amounts of grinding. And, uh, and then ultimately, uh, then... Uh, fight Sephiroth, but I I need to, yeah. That horse absolutely has Super Saiyan hair, and it, it's very weird. And I don't know what that other guy's deal is, but I hate it. See that horse just, he's just shaking that ass, just wildly shaking that ass. Unacceptable horse. You need to tone it down. Very inappropriate behavior. Kate Sith just got the shit twerked out of him. It was wild. What the hell? Oh, okay. Imperial Guard. Uh. Okay. We're not done yet. I still gotta go get that other thing over there. Not one of you. Um, usually the, the goal is three streams a week. Today is not my normal stream day. Uh, I just... You know, I felt like uh, making some progress on the game. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of time where I'm just... Uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, grinding uh, while I gain experience uh, onto various uh, uh, materia. So, um, I, I always stream on... Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, always on Fridays always on Tuesdays, and I'm going to try to make Sunday night into a, a regular thing. That's that's the hope. Um, Saturday, this, this is just a fluke. This is not normal at all. Which looks like a demon from Mike Wazowski. Yeah, it does! It's like Mike Wazowski went evil and decided I'm going to harvest all of the scream. 
instead of going for comedy, he went, he went, he leaned full into... I hate that, that it's bubbling like that. That makes me uncomfortable. Oh, God. It's the dark timeline of Monsters, Inc. Did we succeed in slowing him down? Were we successful? He has been slowed. Didn't stop him from killing Cloud, though. God, that ability sucks. What chair? This chair? You know, you've known about this chair. You've been here. You were here when I got the chair, weren't you? All right. I I seem to be sensing a pattern here. It seems like maybe you want Cloud dead. Thank you, Tifa. That was helpful. <laughs> I'm glad that it continues to impress after, at this point, years. Teabag, I'm glad you like it as well. Stop killing Cloud. You... We may have a problem. He's gonna stab him. He's gonna stab him with his own knife. Um, I can't recommend having a badass chair enough. It, it really does. Um, it adds something to your life. Um, what I like about this guy is the, the way that it kind of makes sound reflect in, like, inward at me. So if I'm sitting here watching a movie or something, it is, it, like, the sound, the sound hits here and kind of echoes around inside. So, like, you're in, you don't even need, like, a good stereo. It just provides the acoustics for you. It's fabulous. I don't even know where the hell I'm going. Where am I? I think I, I thought I went the other way. I thought I went the way I wasn't supposed to go. I thought I went back up. And now I'm just in a nonsense maze of... of who knows? I have no idea how deep this rabbit hole goes. I came down here for one kind of materia, and I found more items and materia than I could possibly use. Let's see, it's counter materia.
counter. Attacks with paired command when damage is incurred. This is the materia I came for. This is the one I wanted. I'm excited about that now. Uh-oh. This is it. This is the center of the planet. Here, Cloud. Cloud, I found this. Well, shall we get going? Oh, you didn't find anything, huh? This is it. Hey, Cloud, I found this on the way. Hold on to this. Mega all, nice. W what? Yaffe, just let Cloud have it. Oh, all right. Here, Cloud. But I'm the one who found it, so you better give it back to me when you're done with it. Yeah, it doesn't bode well. I do not want to go down there. Okay, good. So I can stay up here. Nope. No. No, 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 no. All right, who's who's with me at the moment? Okay, Tifa is. Um, let's go go up this way. No. Okay. That's you you cannot go down there. Or that's it. So how do I... I can't go up this way because it just leads back around to the end. Oh, for Christ's sake. I don't want to fight a Tonbury. Just let me out. Just let me out. I don't want to fight you. Tonbury, I'm not fighting you. Oh, thank God. I hate those things. There, how do I get out? Alright, I'm gonna have to Google it. Uh, so getting back up from final descent. Save crystal of the platform below the climbable pillars. Oh, after reading a bit further, it says that they should be able to leave the crater at any time. However, the guide says that there is one screen that people have reported that they cannot climb up if they put their save point there, blah, blah, blah. I set the save crystal in the room where the group splits up to head, uh, head no problems with getting back in the high wind. At the pillar, they have to move a little to the sides and repeatedly press OK. I'll find a sweet spot to climb up. You guys are dumb. Go past the room where all your team assemble. You cannot return. I usually set my save point here 
before going down the final descent, you asked for help. Blah blah blah. Okay, it's I I've there has to be a way to get back. Moving beyond this point is the point of no return. Clicking the words point of no return. I got a bunch a hunch that once we go Quest enemy skills, blah 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 Music themes, other appearances. No. Super Smash Bros. There is a way out of There's a way up from here. Um No, okay. Final Fantasy seven. Getting back up from Northern Crater. Okay, I'm going to watch a brief video. Turn off the volume on the on the video. Okay, so they are all the way down at the bottom. Good. Go up there. Excuse just for a sec. All right, it says, it says I go up here. Supposedly, there's a way out from here. <laughs> yeah! Hey look, I've got Sully in the bottom left. Kate Sith has kind of a Sully-esque figure, don't you think? It's Dark Universe Sully, kind of like that's Dark Universe Mike. He does look like he absolutely does. You're right. Uh, what the fuck? I haven't encountered one of you but before. King Teal! Oh, well you missed. Sorry, that was your one shot. Your setup's done. Nice. 
enemy away. <laughs> well, thank God for that, because I'm getting sick of this constant fighting. Just trying to get the hell out of here. Hey, I went right last time. This time, yes, yes, that's how you get out. Fantastic. I'm so excited I could eat a Tonberry. Let's tear this place apart. You guys are really starting to great, you know that? This place would prefer not to be torn apart. Uh, no. They, they no longer have a say in the matter. This place is getting torn apart. Also, why the fuck do I still have Tifa and Kate Santa? My god damn it. Alright, it doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is... Cloud loves drinking them high potions. There we go. Up from here. We're getting out of here. This is awesome. Come on. Quit playing around. You can do it. Come back up there. No, come on. What do you get? What? Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah, alright. This takes me all the way back up. Fantastic. Awesome. Guys, I, I seriously can't believe it. We got in there, we got all of the stuff that I wanted, and now we're actually heading out of here, and I'm gonna go up, and I'm going to... Uh, it's, it's just gonna be, um... Oh, shit. It's one of these things. Um, and, and then, and then off stream, I'm just, I'm just gonna just grind and grind and grind and grind and grind until I get all of my fabulous weapons, uh, ready to go. Uh, you won't have to live through the tedium. I will. I'll do it for you. It'll be fine. All I gotta do is get out of here without fighting gargoyles that kill me automatically because of my level. Enemy away material is really doing its job in here. Fuck off, gargoyles. Oh, it's just you. 
All right, big fella. Let's dance. And this should do it. Damn right. Fantastic. Seal was born. Awesome. You got you. you I got you. you. Don't even understand. The first time that I played this game, I went down, and there was no way to come back. It wasn't possible. And so, I screwed myself, not knowing that that was the, the point of no return in the game. And I could not beat it. I was not strong enough to defeat Sephiroth. I was... 13? Maybe? And I've wanted to beat this game ever since. Welcome. Everyone's waiting for you. Well, that's good. The second time I played this game, I thought that was it. You couldn't go any further. I went all the way up there, talked to that guy, and he said, Welcome. Everyone's waiting for you. Uh, yes, there is a pinup girl painted on there. Absolutely. And here we are. Emerging out of the crater. I kept bumping into that guy over and over again. And he would say, everyone's waiting for you. And I was like, okay, I guess I have to go back down. So I went back down. And that's when I went down the hole. I didn't think you could leave. And now knowing that I can... I am at long last free from my terrible nightmare. Now there's one last thing I've got to do on this stream. I've got to find the weird mountain. I think it's on the other continent. I've got to find the weird mountain that has, like, a caldera at the top that the river flows up into. There it is. Look familiar? Guess what? I can go in there. And Lucretia has left something for me, I believe. Oh, I had to have Vincent at the party. Right. Everyone has gone to sleep. I'm free. Trade out the PHS. Bring in Vincent. And... What's that? Lucretia. Received death penalty. Received chaos. I can now use Chaos. I'm getting less human. And Vincent now has his final limit break. Chaos! Which is way better than Hellmasker. And I believe I found his final weapon as well. 
if I'm not mistaken. Death penalty? Yeah, this is his best weapon. It has no growth, but it's as strong as it gets for Vincent. Vincent is edgy. Alright. Well, then that's the whole damn thing. Dude is so edgy, I'd cut my thumb touching the screen when he's on. <laughs> yes. Yes, he, he absolutely is uh, every, every bit that edgy. Well, uh, that's it for tonight's stream. It took me a little over uh, three hours when I planned on doing two, but uh, that's, a, that's a big old area. I just did not even realize uh, exactly what I was up against. Because it's been so long that I had I had forgotten how huge that that place is. Uh, the question uh, on everybody's minds at this point is, Nigh guy, would you like a jaunty tune to close out your evening? Oh, you're very welcome for the impromptu stream. Well then, let's just jaunt it up, shall we? I'm just flicking this, flipping this one over because uh, uh, there's another sign on this record and we're going to hear it. Wind it up, wind it up. Drop that needle once you line it up. They don't come no jauntier than this one. It's a little tune called Copenhagen. One with which I was already familiar. And one that you can absolutely check out on my YouTube channel under Victrola Vault. Uh, because it's been up there for years. Stumbled upon the record thought, what the hell? I'll put that one in there. We can jam out to that. Alright, dude. Well, enjoy the tune. Have a good night. See you next time. Uh, frankly, it's Saturday, so if I keep true to my word, that means I'll be streaming tomorrow night. Good lord. Uh, until then, it's good night and good luck.